Hey, good Thursday morning, everybody. Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Well, we're getting into that hot, humid part of summer where things are starting to really crank up temperature-wise and humidity-wise just in time for the 4th of July. But also, those thunderstorms are going to become more of an issue. This summer ring of fire, which I'll talk about in a minute, is kind of setting up um, for the next couple of days, which is really going to set the stage for potentially some big storms. And I say potentially because Sometimes it's an all or nothing kind of thing with this setup. Now, I do want to point out there is a lot of wildfire smoke over the eastern U.S., including the Carolinas. In fact, today, probably the worst air quality we've had since the last time we had smoke in the area. Um, the AQI or the air quality index is at 120. That's solid code orange and actually higher than even the forecast was. So just a heads up, there is a ton of smoke out there in haze today. That is going to be a trend. What's going on is we've got this big heat dome, which is just to our west. It's kind of centered right there. And the heat dome has clockwise flow around it. So think about clockwise flow like that. So these storms form on the edge. And the, ring, the reason we call this the ring of fire is around these big rings of high pressure, we get these thunderstorms that develop and they track like this. So later tonight and into early Friday morning, and then again, Friday into Saturday morning, we're going to see these thunderstorms form up to our northwest in the Ohio Valley and kind of make a run down here into the western Carolinas. Now, how far they get in? That's always the tough part because it just depends on subtle changes in the track of everything. So let me show you the severe weather outlook. I'm going to turn off the satellite imagery just for a second. We're going to turn on the day one severe weather outlook. And you can see, obviously, severe weather along that ring of fire. Remember, I just showed you the high pressure was centered right here to the south. And on the northern side of that, we get that ring of thunderstorms and severe thunderstorms. So there they are forming around Kansas City to Louisville, Kentucky. And tonight, some of these, uh, you know, into the early morning hours Friday could come down here into northern Georgia, but they could sneak close to western North Carolina or even the upstate uh, of South Carolina, or upstate of South Carolina. So that's certainly a possibility. Tomorrow, that risk solidly shifts into the Carolinas. You can see that risk right there. I'm going to turn off the radar here in a minute to kind of show you this setup. So you can see tomorrow, this is for Friday, and really you see the medium risk into the mountains. And again, the reason this is happening is that ring of fire. You can clearly see the setup. Thunderstorms will form up here during the day. It's going to be really hot and humid here. It'll be, it could be sunny all day, not a cloud in the sky. And then sometime in the late evening and even the overnight hours, these thunderstorm complexes move in. And maybe even before morning, like before sunrise, I've seen that happen quite a bit. That's very common. So that's a severe weather risk for Friday. Look at Saturday. Looks almost identical, maybe even a little higher. So any one of these days, we could see one of these big clusters of thunderstorms move down here and cause some damaging winds, maybe some large hail, but certainly they will primarily be late afternoon, evening, and overnight. So after five o'clock into the overnight hours, which means most of the daylight hours, it's just sunny and hot. And oh, by the way, it'll be incredibly hot. Temperatures could be in the mid, even upper 90s by the time we get to the weekend. So let's look at the future cast of these storm chances. All right, let's dive into the future cast. Again, the stuff over the Carolinas is ground clutter. That's probably even smoke showing up on some of the, the guidance. But you see these thunderstorm complexes, it's got two of them in particular. Um, there's one up here near Omaha, Nebraska, near the Iowa border. And then you've got this cluster in the uh, Western Ohio Valley diving into Tennessee this afternoon. So this is no noon today. You can see those storms moving to our west. And again, the, the thing to watch is do they push some outflow boundary that heads east? But likely this is going to dive more to the south into Alabama and Georgia. But then overnight tonight, we'll go into the overnight hours. Another one of these complexes start and tries to move down and maybe fall apart as it heads to the Western Carolinas tomorrow morning. You actually could see, you know, something left over. And oftentimes what happens with these complexes, they get what's called a cold pull. The, the rain and the storms actually produce a pocket of cold air, which then pushes out almost like a cold front and you see new storms form on it. So watch as this moves in during the morning hours tomorrow, you actually see storms forming on the leading edge of it. And as we go into tomorrow afternoon, we likely see that fall apart before maybe another one develops and produces scattered showers and storms to our north. So it's kind of an interesting setup. I mean, I think all in all, this is gonna be kind of one of those things, it's gonna to be tough to predict the exact timing of these storms, but at some point in this setup, we're gonna see some scattered big storms. We'll go towards the early part of Saturday morning. You see the complex is starting up here again. This one a little bit further north. It makes another turn around that ridge. So it, I'm gonna draw something on the map here. If I'm gonna put this high right here, and we'll kind of show you that high is gonna be centered here, which is the heat dome. It's slowly pushing this way, but you'll watch when I loop this. Look at all the storms form on that ring of fire and then move in this direction. So let me loop this and you'll see it. Look at all those storms. That's why it's called the ring of fire because you get big thunderstorms that develop 
around the ring of the big uh, domes of high pressure, these huge high pressure systems. Speaking of high pressure and heat, let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is the, the long range GFS ensembles. And again, this kind of gives you a general idea of how much heat we're gonna see here going into the weekend. Um, I don't know if we'll make it close to 100, but I think mid and upper 90s, definitely a sure possibility here, especially this weekend into the early part of next week. So uh, essentially what is gonna be 4th of July weekend, because this will be the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. The fourth is on Tuesday. You're going to see some of the hottest temperatures we've seen so far this year. Um, we've had a stretch of four day or three days in a row of 90 degrees, which broke yesterday. We only hit 89, which is essentially close. But we should be back on that streak again today and maybe lasting into the end of next week and next weekend. So the hottest weather of the year combined with thunderstorms rotating around that high pressure. This is your classic summer pattern that we see here in the Carolinas. After what has been a really cool June, things are going to get more like summer that we're used to here over the next couple of days. Of course, I'll have updates tonight and tomorrow and throughout the weekend. We'll let you know about that. Also, if you're going to the coast, just a heads up, those king tides are this weekend <clears throat> into next week. Just means higher than average tides and water, and there will be high rip current risk with this. So just be careful in the water out there. And if you're right on the coast, there will be some coastal flooding possible. These king tides happen with the hot, with the new and full moon, um, and that's going to be the case this weekend into early next week. So astronomical high tides are what is called king tides, which are abnormally high tides for uh, the cycle. And this will be this weekend into early next week.